of the vets will run an eye over him and looks like he... Let's have a look. So is coming up. No, he's going to be okay. Michael Cree, of course, won the race on an emergency a couple of years ago. We're set for the Caulfield Cup, the 148th running. Here we go. Eight running, set to go. They are ready. Right there. Racing in the Caulfield Cup, and Buckaroo jumped away neutral towards the inside. Fancy Man was away. Oh, K okay with Carla Poor Duke de Sessa, Young Bird is trying to slot across. Sayadati Sadati's kicking up from that inside draw, and there's Elias who's firing over. So as they reach the judge, Duke de Sessa is the leader from Carla Poor. Then Elias and Sayadati Sadati out wider on the course to nine knowledge four and five deep from Young Bird, a fancy man. Then came land legend Zardozi Barkshire Breeze is middle of the pack with Guitor, and they were followed by Buckaroo with Coco Sun around at four deep. A length and a quarter of Valiant King, Warmonger, Knight's Choice and Warp Speed is last in the Caulfield Cup. So with approximately 1,600 metres to go, Deny Knowledge is going to continually force around them and take the lead from Duke de Sessa. Elias is third, one off the fence from the outside draw. Sayadati Sadati fourth the inside. Two lengths to Kalapur, followed by Land Legend. A length away, Young Verda, three deep around Fancy Man and Zardozi. They were followed by Circle of Fire, three deep around Barkshire Breeze and Whit tour as they reach the top of the hill at the 1200 metres the speed's been even a gap coco sun buckaroo knight's choice and then came valiant king warmonger warp speed is last of all through halfway so it's deny knowledge only knows one way by two lengths to in second duke de Sessa. a length and a half away third les and then came sayadati sadati a length and a half carla poor land legend young verta three wide behind those zardozi tucked away on the inside making up a little bit of ground. She's nice and close, about six off the front. From Fancy Man, Circle of Fire at the 800. Then Wittor, Barkshire, Breeze, Buckaroo with a bit to do. Coco Sun under pressure from Warmonger and then Knight's Choice well back with Valiant King and Warp Speed. Duke de Sessa at the 600 metres is about to put the foot down. Claims deny knowledge. Land Legend right there in second place, chasing Duke de Sessa. Two for the back is Elias and then came Zardozi and a gap to Fancy Man. Duke De Sessa comes around the corner. 300 metres to go. Two legs, three legs in front of Land Legend who couldn't sprint with it. Deny Knowledge wax on Zardozi and here's Buckaroo. Duke De Sessa, 200 metres to go. Four legs in front. Buckaroo's the only danger. Try to get into the lead. Duke De Sessa, 100 to go from Buckaroo. A length and three quarters. But it's going to be Duke De Sessa, Harry Coffey. This is your moment. A length and a half, Buckaroo. Five legs away, third Land Legend legend from Zardozi fancy man deny knowledge then LES circle of fire warmonger with tall young Berta valiant king knight's choice coco sun warp speed sayadati sadati then came kalapur and Berkshire breeze last a daring win it's harry coffee it's the story of the carnival so far duke de Sessa wins the caulfield cup it sure is, Lizzie, and look, there's Kiran Ma looking on. So Kiran Ma becomes the first trainer to win an Everest and a Caulfield Cup on that same day. We don't have it every Saturday, that's for sure. And cystic fibrosis, we know, Lizzie, the Harry Coffey story. I was actually in Adelaide the day that he broke through and won his very first Group 1. He's a cricket pitch in front, halfway up the Caulfield Cup straight. How good that must have felt. What a smart ride as well. Hands down, one of the greatest stories we're seeing in racing is Harry Coffey. With all the adversities that he's faced throughout his career, he's taken out the iconic Caulfield Cup with a daring ride, great tactics, and I'm sure that the victory will mean the absolute world to him. You mentioned about Kieran Maher and his dominance across both states. Well, he was able to really put the pedal to the medal in this race. sure was and I think Richo you might be in a, you might have one of the owners no actually we're going to get to Richo later um Duke de Sessa Buckaroo was fantastic from the back for Joe Marrera and then land legend for Zach Purton and Zardozzi for Andrea Anzetti let's go to Kate Watts who's with Kira Ma here at Royal Randwick Kate Kieran what an incredible day for your career for the team you've taken out an Everest and now another Caulfield Cup yeah phenomenal um Great for um, 
Morris Regan, we sent the horse over and it didn't really go to plan for the first prep. Um, Carl McKenna's in it. Uh, there's a, a heap, a, a really good crew in there. And uh, phenomenal, you know, he, he put the, he had the right form going in. He had three 2,000 metre, four 2,000 metre runs. And um, going to the mile and a half, he loves a bit of cut in the track and uh, our good Harry Coffey's. Um, Harry, I was talking to him there after his last run and he said, um, he said he gets excited, he likes losing weight when he's got a chance. So anyway, he uh, fair play to him. He rode him confidently, he rode him well, and, and uh, it was a pretty easy watch. You've had some massive days in your career. Where does this sit for you? Well, I better go, so I hope we're not done yet. <laughs> Still got Prada Jenny to come, but come back in. This guy, Duke of Decessa, you always told people, don't discount him. Yeah, no, exactly right. He's, he's a... He's a lovely horse. He had a lot of ability. As I said, he, he was just a bit aggressive as a colt. He was 